Now that we've made our very first part in a Libre Atom 3D, it's time to make something maybe a little bit more real world. So to do that, we're going to go in the home window and we're going to start a new part. Uh, we're going to be trying to make a simple bolt uh, in this example. It's not going to have threads and there's a few things that we could do to make it better, but it'll give you a good idea of some basic workflows. So the first thing that we're going to do on a new part is select any plane that we want. And in this case, we'll select the XY plane. And we're going to activate 2D sketch mode. Now, the first part of the bolt that we're going to make is kind of the long, uh, uh, the body of the bolt, which is basically a cylinder. So uh, the cross section of a cylinder is a circle. And so we're going to select the circle tool and we're going to click it directly on the origin. You'll notice when we hover over uh, regular space, the preview next to the cursor is just a circle, and that just indicates we're in the circle tool. But when you hover over something of importance, for example, the central node, which is the origin, you'll see that the cursor changes to indicate we're hovering over something. So this is a good way to kind of let you know that the center point in this case is exactly where you want it to be. We're going to single click on the, on the origin and then we're going to move out um, a little bit. Now there's two ways that we could apply some dimensions here. The first way is we can do it in real time. You see this number changing as we move the cursor. But you can also just start typing a value in, in this case, 0.5 inches, and press Enter. And we see that a dimension has been created and the circle size is 0.5 inches. If I click the Select tool, I can select the dimension and move it around. Uh, and I can also double click the dimension if I wanted to make it a different size. So for example, 0.75. When we did that, the circle size actually updated to be 0.75. I could maybe make it 0.2. So you can see it, it changes size. In this case though, we want it to be 0.5 inches. Now we're gonna turn this circle into a 3D model. To do that, we're gonna go to the Part Modeling tab and click on Extrude Boss. You can see in the tooltip what this tool does. It takes a 2D sketch, and then it pushes it out in a single direction, creating a 3D solid as we go. So let's click Extrude. And our bolt body is going to be 3 inches long. So there's two ways that we can change the, the length. We can click and drag, or we can type in 3 directly into the depth. Everything is how we want it, so let's press OK. And we can see that we have a cylinder. So now we need to make the head of the bolt. To do this, we need to sketch on either side of the cylinder, and we'll create a hexagonal profile and then make another extrusion. So let's start by, by left-clicking on one of the sides, the flat faces. And we're going to activate 2D sketch mode on this face. Now we're going to use the polygon tool under sketch figures. We're going to select sides of six and we're going to single click to make the center point. As we move the mouse out, we can now see that the, uh, the polygon is being created. And we're going to single click to finalize the polygon and then press Apply. Now we'll click Close on the dialog. And we have to figure out how big we want this thing to be. So there's a number of ways that we could dimension this. We're going to click the Dimension tool. and uh, there's lots of different ways that you can achieve dimensions. In this case, we could just, if we know the length of one of the sides, we could single click it. 
and then single click again somewhere else to place the dimension. And then we can enter in the value, for example, 0.5. And we can see that it's now been updated uh, to show the, uh, the true size. 0.5 is probably a little bit too big for this bolt. We're going to control Z and we're going to pretend the, the piece of information we know is how wide this line to this line is. So the, the cross distance. In that case, we're going to single click this line and we're going to single click this line. And that allows us to make a dimension between them. We'll do a final click to place the dimension and we're going to type a value of 0.7 inches and press the green check mark. Now we have uh, a properly dimensioned uh, head portion of the bolt. If I rotate using the left and right mouse button, um, we can see what this looks like. And now I'm going to turn this sketch into a 3D model by going to the Part Modeling tab and clicking on Extrude. Now by default, this remembers the last setting that we used, and we certainly don't want the head to be, point, to be 3 inches long. So let's change this to be maybe 0.5. We can press Tab, and that will give us a preview and maybe 0.5 is even still too big. Let's maybe do 0.4. Now it, it previews like we want. Let's press OK. And we have a bolt. So in this lesson, we've covered creating some sketches. We've covered adding dimensions and making a really basic part. Now let's talk a little bit about how do we edit things. So the Design Explorer is filling up with things as we make them. Uh, and if we kept on adding more and more things, they would show up here. The Design Explorer is how you access your old sketches, your old features, and it allows you to make changes. So let's change the size of this body. Maybe it's too big and we want to make it smaller. So we need to access the sketch, the circle down here, that we used to make this, this extrusion. So we're going to right click on sketch one, and we're going to select edit. Now a few things happen when you do this. Uh, the first thing is that we're taken into the sketch mode for the sketch that we're doing. But the other thing that's not so obvious is that this thing that's referred to as the dog bone, uh, because it kind of looks like a dog bone, is pulled up. And what this does is anything below the dog bone is kind of not shown or not evaluated. So when you edit something near the top of the Design Explorer, everything below it is going to be kind of grayed out or turned off. So the effects of this will become uh, more obvious as we proceed. So let's go ahead and our objective is to change that size. So we're going to double click the dimension in the select tool. And let's make this 0.35 inches. We can see its size has been updated, but the 3D model itself is the same size. And that's because we're still in sketch mode and it hasn't yet reevaluated extrusion one. So we're happy with the changes. Let's deactivate sketch. And we can see that the 3D model has been updated. Now, what you'll notice is that we don't have the head anymore. And the reason that we don't have the head is because it is below the dog bone. So there's a few things that we could do to remedy this. The first is that we could just click the dog bone and drag it down. And in this way, you can move around the Design Explorer and 
go back in time based on where the dog bone is. The second thing that you could do is click the Generate to Last Feature button. And this basically will put the dog bone at the bottom of the Design Explorer and your model will be uh, completely shown. Since we have modified the body, this head is now too big as well. So we need to do two things to this head. We need to make the distance from side to side smaller. And we're going to go ahead and shrink how long it is. So let's do first things first. We need to edit this, this hexagon, which lives in Sketch 2. So let's right click on Sketch 2 in the Design Explorer, and we'll click Edit. This takes us into the sketch that we made earlier with our dimension. And we have the Select tool enabled, and we're going to double click this dimension. We're going to change it to 0.5 and press Enter. And now we're going to deactivate Sketch and we see our model has been updated. Now we've been modifying things by changing their sketch, but that's only half of the equation because the other half is, uh, is the feature that actually turns the sketch into a model. So now we wanna make this a little bit shorter. And the thing that makes this length exist is, is the feature that we, that we used on the sketch. So let's right click on Extrusion 2 and click edit. And now we see the existing value of 0.4. We're going to change that to 0.25 and press OK. So now we've created a model. We've added some sketches and dimensions. We've edited uh, through various ways what the dimensions are and we've ended up with a final product.